Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Welcome to this last installment in our little mini-series within our uh, Japa Inspirations. Today we will forge or craft a very, very effective little technique about chanting with bhakti. First of all, you must know bhakti has a very, very powerful force to it. The Matara Shruti says, bhakti evainam nayati, bhakti evainam dashayati, and so on. In English, bhakti brings one to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhakti reveals the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhakti brings the Supreme Personality of Godhead under its control. In fact, Bhakti is stronger even than the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Chanting with Bhakti is therefore a very, very powerful uh, practice. In the previous three sessions, we have learned what that might be. In this one, we will bring the learning together in a simple formula, which I have called Isha. Isha is one of the thousand names of the Lord mentioned in the Vishnu Sahasranam. I stands for intention. S stands for sincerity and A for attention. When you sit down to chant, have the conscious intention to actually spend time, quality time with Krishna, putting him in the center and having the intention to please him. The second is sincerity. Make sure the real you uh, chants. Sincerity is so nicely expressed in the Madhya Lila, uh, in this well-known shloka, Krishna Tomahana Yadibala Ekapa translate my dear Lord Krishna although I have forgotten you for so many long years in the material world today I'm surrendering unto you I'm your sincere and serious servant please engage me in your service Krishna does Kaviraj makes the point that one is immediately freed from the clutches of all maya if he seriously and sincerely can say this or come into this mood. That was sincerity. The last item in our Isha formula is A that stands for attention. As we have heard before, Attention uh, means uh, to bring the mind back. I like the German word Aufmerksamkeit. It means that just like a deer hears the sound of someone coming and perks his ear, ears up and becomes comes into a position of alertness. In the same way, the attentive person perks up his whole being, so to say, and brings it, focuses it entirely to the act of hearing or listening so that he can uh, act appropriately. In the same way, attention really means aufmerken 
little come up from the normal small uh, little concerns and become attentive to this one thing at hand that is Krishna and his presence in the holy name. Okay, in practice this means let us sit down become mindful of our intention to be with Krishna and please him. Now go to sincerity where you connect with the deeper parts of yourself that part which knows it's a part of Krishna and only needs him. And finally, during the practice, again and again, sharpen your attention, return to your attention. Be attentive, be present, absolutely. Good. Let's start now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Please continue in your own speed.